But so STEM advocacy, what do you, why do you think it's important um, that kids, young people, or people who are not typically recruited by, um, by engineering be recruited by? Engineering? Well, I mean, I, I think, you know, many of us recognize the importance of, of supporting science, technology, engineering, and math. You know, some of the fastest growing mm -hmm. fields and career opportunities are in those fields. These are fields where I feel bad for this side of the room because I'm mostly this way. So I'm going to answer this Go question there. this way. Go there. Um, <laughs> no, but um, these are fields where women. Hi. These are fields where women are typically underrepresented, and there's a lot of interesting historical and sociological reasons for that. Um, but you know, for, for me also as a public person and as a person who's chosen to see the world as a scientist, I love being a, a public face. I love putting a public face on the sciences. I worked with Texas Instruments yep. for several years, um, really to try, shout out to people who like Texas <laughs> Instruments. Um, <laughs> There's no, a but the, the, idea, the idea is to not make science sexy because right. honestly that, that kind, you know, as the kind it of feminist and scientist yeah. that I am, it kind of sometimes rubs me the wrong way. Right. The point is not to make science sexy, it's to make science for everyone and it is mm -hmm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think in, in particular, you know, for girls to see a female face yes. publicly on, on the STEM fields is very important. I've always said that one of the most important things for getting young women and young girls interested in sciences is to show them people who live yep. it and to show them yep. what it looks like and not just tell them, you can be a scientist too, because right. that's honestly, that's not enough information not for enough. a five-year-old or a 15-year-old or a 25-year-old. Mm -hmm. You have to show them what life looks like, who are the people who are the faces of women who are scientists. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm grateful to be just one of them. And one of the things I get to do is to, to meet other amazing mm -hmm. men and women who dedicate mm -hmm. their lives to, a to do this. Men. Just yeah, a couple men. No, but, but I do meet, in particular, right. a lot of women. And to me, like, those are the inspiring women. Those right. are the women who broke down gender barriers, color right. barriers at the time that they were just entering these fields. So yeah. that's amazing to be, to be part of that. And, you know, I was educated at a fine public university. Yeah. I'm, I'm a proud Bruin. And I was, I was taught at UCLA how, how to keep going when yeah. you, you are one of the only females in many right. of your classes. <laughs>